there, howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited, blessings to you, happy Friday, April 22nd, 2022, exciting times to be alive, find somebody to encourage today, so find somebody to bless today in an unexpected way, it's just a great time to be able to spread love and hope and encouragement. Uh, today I'm talking about fires. We want to be on fire. You know, some of us uh, that have been around uh, church circles have maybe heard the the term, you know, light yourself on fire and invite people to come and watch you burn. And we need to be on fire with passion and compassion, on fire with the Holy Ghost, on fire with love. Be, be filled with uh, the fire, the zest, the zeal. And the way that a fire works, as uh, we know, most of us probably know uh, you need uh, you need fuel and you need and you need you know air you know the fuel whatever you're burning and you need air and you need you need that spark well I want to encourage you that you are the fuel for the fire you are the kindling you are the sticks and the 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 spark comes from God with the initiative, with the idea, with the wisdom from above. And the air is the breath of the Spirit. Just like uh, in Genesis when God breathed life into the dirt, into Adam. And then again, right before Jesus ascends to go um, and be at the right hand of the Father, he breathes onto the disciples so they would recognize the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is that breath. And to manage a fire, it's mostly ab about air management to maintain a fire. You know, if you've got a, a wood stove, you know there's air valves on some of those that you adjust the vents and the valves to make sure there's a proper amount of air. And if that doesn't have that air, that fire's going out. I can tell you that for sure. And so I just want to encourage you that we need that breath of the Spirit. Be looking for the wind of the Spirit to stoke that fire and we uh, be a, the offering of the kindling for it to burn. God bless.